area is this. A sector area is a fraction of the circle's area. It's just a portion of the area. It's another way to say it. A sector area is a fraction of the area. Does that make sense? Um, or a portion. Yes, sir. So, um, I'm just like guessing. So, if you yes. count the area of the whole circle, yes. then, and then you take like the three fourths of it out, would you multiply the area by three fourths? Or the easier way would be multiplied by one fourth. If we're looking for the way. No. Yeah, but you're on the, you're on the right okay. track. Okay, you're just a little ahead. So, the definition of a sector area is a fraction of area. Sector area is a fraction of area. Say that sentence with me. Sector area is a fraction of the area. Circles area, technically. So when I talk about equations, don't get all freaked out by the amount that you see here. All it is, it's just a piece of the circles area. Does that make sense? Okay. So we're going to write this down. It's open seating, Dennis. Okay. Got it. Ready? So a sector area, see that word fraction? fraction? I'd like you to draw here and write the word part over a whole. That's what a fraction is. It's a part over a whole. Times the area. See, so I was right. You're, yep, you're, you're getting there. You're just, you're just a little ahead of there. So a fraction of the area, a part over whole is fraction, okay? If, if you have four slices of pizza and someone eats three-fourths of it, they've eaten three parts of four parts. That's why it's a fraction. Okay. So the equation, again, this is where we're aiming towards the equation. When I say part, we use that central angle. Central angle. So just write central angle. We use theta as an angle. Central angle that we use theta for angle times 360, which of course is the whole over 360. Uh, you caught me. Yes. Good deal. Times, because it's of, of is times, pi parentheses radius squared. It's just, okay, don't, don't freak out with all the equations. It's just a fraction of the area. Yes, ma'am. Yes. Um, that's a pi, dear. Let me, let me get my fat pen out here. Got it. Nikki. Kind of. It's close. It's close. Okay, so part over whole times pi r squared. Are we okay with this? Even though it looks like a scary equation, it's not. It's just a fraction of area. Touch this right here. Touch it with your fingers. Say fraction. fraction. Say area. area. That's all that is. Uh, Got it? So yes, sir. Area, of, of the whole circle. Yeah. Exactly. Let's do one together. I think you'll understand it better as we do an example. Ready? In the circle here, we have a radius of 8 centimeters. I'd like you to just lightly stripe this so you can realize we're finding that pizza slice. Our equation again is cent whoop, tap pen doesn't work there. Central angle theta over uh, if you want to say part over whole, I'm gonna I'm gonna write the actual equation. Central angle theta over 360 times pi r squared. If you want to say part over whole times area, that's fine. Use either, as long as you remember what part over whole is. So, so our part, now we circle plug chug, our part is 60 over 360 times r squared, which is 8 squared times pi. I thought that's the other way around. Or it, it doesn't matter. There's a reason why I did it that way. Okay, don't touch the calculators. Okay. Okay, watch. Did you cross multiply? Uh, well, you're not, we're not cross multiplying, we're reducing. So we have 60, we have 8 times 8 over 360, and then we just have pi here. We're going to do this in pi form because it's actually easier. Okay, we okay so far? Good. 8 squared? Okay, ready? Let's start by doing the simple step. Say goodbye to the zeros. Okay, circle the 6 and the 36. 6 goes into 36. How many times? 
Try it again. Sorry. That's okay. It's okay. There's a six there. Ready? Yeah, I know you were. Okay, circle the eight and the six because that reduces. Two goes in here. And two goes in here. Three times. Our final answer, watch guys. I'm going to circle it. What color have I not used? In orange. We're going to do 32 over 3 pi. And we check for units. Our units is centimeters. So centimeters squared. Ta-da. That's it. That's it. Truly. Yes. Thank you. No. That's pi form. No, 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 we're not done. We're not done. That's pi form. And I prefer pi form. All my answers have pi form. I also have the decimal form for you who are like, I hate Greek letters. I want decimals. That's fine. I have both. Okay? So what we just did, hold up one of the wedges. Hold up one of the wedges and repeat after me. Say fraction of area. Fraction of area. Okay, there's going to be a part two here, but I need you to take a quick break. So I'd like you to stand, take a minute break, stretch break. No, you may not eat it now. Top of page three, you write same. Okay, now I want you to draw just your wedges here, just those sector area wedges. You have a larger one and a smaller one. Okay. No, not exactly to scale. One's obviously bigger than the other. That's fine. And this was wedge uh, O, R, and A, and L, E, and M. I was waiting for that. I was so waiting for that. That's just delightful. Can you believe you're the first student of the entire day who actually pointed that out? I'm so serious. Maybe they just weren't excited about it. Who knows? Go ahead. All right, you guys, take a look up here. Ready? I'd like you to trace this and trace this. Okay? Now, I want you to fill in the boxes. As a team, I'd like you to fill in this box. Watch carefully. I'm not going to say a word. Uh, 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 don't say a word. I just want you to fill out these boxes yourself silently. Silently. Okay. And then I'll ask you to ask a neighbor what they got. Try to fill out those boxes. Okay. Pay attention. Got it. Patrick, what'd you put in this box on the left, sir? 90 is correct. Jonathan, what'd you put on the right box, sir? Measure of a central angle to its arc, the... So, to the arc, the... So, what's here? Okay, if, if this is 90, this is... Okay, to its arc, the... Yes. It's okay. Uh, he was thinking of inscribed angle. So I think you were demonstrating inscribed angle, okay? That's perfectly fine. So it's central, and it probably looked... So the measures are the same so far. Now comes a little bit more delicate of a surgery. I'd like you to slice the peel away from the pulp. Peel away from the pulp. Slice it up. Okay. You're gonna. Okay. Yeah. You're gonna end up with like two the rest of you, I'd like you to start drawing those eyebrows, please. Start drawing those peels. Okay, you have a longer curved peel, right? And you have a shorter curved peel. 
Okay, like this. Now this is the OA arc and this is the LM arc. So it says right here, although we've cut the peel away, okay, even though we've taken the peels away, the arcs were originally 90. They're still 90. They're still 90 degree arcs here. So these two little eyebrows are still 90 degrees in measure. Yeah, okay, watch. This is 90 degrees. And this is 90 degrees. Which means both the arcs still measure 90 degrees. <laughs> Okay, so you got two little eyebrows here, both 90 degrees. Now here's the, the last and most delicate. You're going to turn it upside down, the pith part, that's the soft part, for those who didn't know. You're going to make tiny little notches, like two, three little notches, and then you're going to take it face down and flatten your peel. So peel side up, pith down. Okay, I'll come around and show you. Go to the soft side notch, like score it, notch it, whatever it's called. Turn it down. And so I want the two peels flattened. Okay, so we're going to flatten peels against the plate. Peel side up, flatten the peel. Try not to cut the peel. Uh, flatten. Uh oh. It's really easy to actually pick it up. All right, now do the other one. Okay, so you're going to put it right on the plate. All right, you guys. Now, look up here. Remember this? This is our main question. We are two minutes away from answering this question. Really? Okay, and that also means able to eat. Take a look up here. Now that you've flattened, I'd like you to draw in relative size. Look at your lemon and your orange. I'd like you to attempt to draw at relative size. What is the orange peel's length? <coughs> relative to your lemon's length. So look at yours. Mine, no, they can't be the same. Mine, mine's about three quarters. Yours is going to be slightly different because not all the lemons were the same. So when you flatten them, this is still arc OA, except it's stretched out. And this is still arc LM, but it's stretched out. They should be different. Are they? Then you, you got a really big lemon then. Okay, now, take a look up here. Write the word length. Write the word length. In the margin here, write measure. You're right. I, sh I should make sure you're more accurate. Here's the main question. How is it the measures are the same, but the lengths are different? Okay. And what I want you to do is formulate a sentence, right? They are different here, so they're different. Uh, after we talk about it, you're gonna, I'd like you as a team to write a sentence here. Why can the measures be the same, but the lengths of the arcs be different? So, write it down. Right. 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 Right.
Okay, guys, try to formulate a sentence. Why is it the measures can be the same, but the length can be different? Write it down. Write it down. The is in impacting this. Circle sizes. Miles, from yours. Uh, they're different because one is from a bigger screw or circle. So you're, again, you're dealing with the circle sizes. Circle sizes. So okay, Jackie, give me yours. I'll do one more. So something about degrees being one thing and something else being the length of something. So the fact that you're you're splitting the air between the two is good. Kirsten, give me yours. So you're dealing with the different sizes again? Okay. Specifically, guys, take a look on page four. Okay? Go like this with your fingers. This part of a circle is called the what? Circumference. So go like this. Say circumference. Circumference. Okay. So say lemon. Lemon. Now go like this. Say orange. Orange. So the orange has the larger what compared to lemon? Circumference. Circumference. Yes. That is arc length. It, sector area is a fraction of area. Arc length is a fraction of the circumference. So it's almost the same thing. In fact, it starts the same way. Part over whole. That's our fraction again. Over d pi. If there's only there's a whop and two here. You guys, it's just taken us a long time to get there. Of the whole chapter, absolutely. That's why we have songs galore. So it looks like this. The central angle over 360 times d pi. We're going to do one problem together. We'll be done. And that's for what? That's for the length of the arc. We'll ask you for the length of the arc. Yes. Okay. Okay. Let's do one example together. All right. So right here it says, what is the measure of PR? Measure of a central angle to its arc the same. So my measure here is still 60. Notice and underline that word measure. <coughs> Where you see measure, that means give me the degrees. That's the hair split. Yes, sir. Happily. The measure is 60 degrees. Yes, the measure. Okay. So here our arc length is going to be part over whole times d pi. So our part here is 60. <coughs> so it's 60 over 360 times our <laughs> diameter. Careful. What's our diameter? Uh-huh. 16 pi. I'm going to shrink this up close. So you go 60 times 16 over 360. You're making life really hard on yourself. The key to multiplying is no, not, not, not multiplying. Multi multi Basically, yes. Oh. Were you? Okay, watch, guys. Kill the zeros. Circle 6, circle 36. 4, correct? 6, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> I know. End of the day. No, it's not. But he has the satisfaction of correcting the teacher. That should be worth everything. Okay. Now, we circle 16 and 6. Two goes in here eight times. Two goes in here three times. Final answer, pi form, 8 pi over 3. Check units, centimeters. And that 
Ladies and gentlemen, is your arc length? Is that CM? CM, yes. Centimeters. All right. So one's a fraction of the area, the other one's a fraction of circumference. I'm going to write both equations up on the board for you guys. All right. Now, to dispose, okay, I want everything, including the paper plates, because they're mangled by now, and the knife in the trash. The fruit, if you choose to eat it, you may otherwise go in the trash. I have heels in the back. If you want the heels of the fruit, you're welcome to. Thank you.